snake bite few facts there are two important groups or families elapidae have short permanently erect fangs this family includes the cobra crabs coral snakes and sea snakes viperidae have long fangs which are normally folded up against the upper jaw but the snake strikes are erected as viper elapidae crabs crabs are found all over india has pale white bands and large hexagonal scales in the top of the snake banded crab black and yellow bands found in west bengal madhya pradesh andhra pradesh bihar and odisha short permanently erect fang of a typical elapidae viperidae have long fangs which are normally folded up against the upper jaw but when the snake strikes are erected russell vipers detail of fangs pit viper encountered under bushes and leaf litter or in bushes hematotoxic ven venom causes renal failure late onset evenoming no effective anti venom key identification features large plate scales on the head general symptoms and signs nausea vomiting malaise abdominal pain weakness drowsiness prostration cardiovascular visual disturbances dizziness faintness collapse shock hypotension cardiac arrhythmias pulmonary edema conjunctiva edema generalized signs by fang mark poisonous snakes have elliptical pupil while the non poisonous snake have round pupil but in many cases that in treatment is given on suspected snake bite on the basis of general symptoms despite no fang mark on the body crab bites are nocturnal indoor unprovoked and painless cobra and viper bites are very painful and accompanied by paralysis coelopathy local symptoms and signs fang mark local pain local bleeding bruising lymphangitis lymph node enlargement inflammation 
swelling redness heat blistering local infection abscess formation necrosis physical examination vital signs airway breathing and circulation fang mark or scratches local tissue destruction soft pitting edema that generally develops af after 6 to 12 hours but may start within 5 minutes bully streaking erythema or discoloration contusion systemic toxicity hypotension petechia epistaxis hemoptysis paresthesias and diathesis four var neuromuscular blockade and respiratory distress symptoms and signs when venom has been injected following the immediate pain of mechanical penetration of the skin by snake's fangs there may be increasing local pain burning bursting throbbing at the site of bite local swelling that gradually extends proximally up the bitten limb tender painful enlargement of the regional lymph nodes draining the site of bite bite by carrots sea snakes and philippine cobras may be virtually painless and may cause negligible local swelling symptoms and signs vary according to the species of snake responsible for the bite and the amount of venom injected some may develop vasovagal shock after the bite or suspected bite faintness and collapse with profound slowing of the heart the bite of most poisonous snakes leave mark of two fangs and sometimes little marks made by the other teeth symptoms and signs when venom has not been injected some people who are bitten by snakes or suspect or imagine that they have been bitten may develop quite striking symptoms and signs even when no venom has been injected the bite of a snake that is not poisonous leaves only two rows of teeth mark but no fang marks this results from an understandable fear of the consequences of a real venomous bite other may become highly agitated and irritational and may develop a wide range of misleading symptoms <coughs> general symptoms of snake bite vision blurring heart and vessels rapid pulse low blood pressure severe shock muscular convulsions loss of consciousness loss of coordination weakness gastric nausea and vomiting intestinal diarrhea other skin sites bleeding spots tingling sweating wound site bleeding fang marks discoloration burning sensation swelling respiratory breathing difficulty systemic fever severe pain central dizziness fainting increased thirst headache 
aims of first aid attempt to retard systemic absorption of venom preserve life and prevent complications before the patient can receive medical care control distressing or dangerous early symptoms of envenoming arrange the transport of patient to a place where they can receive medical care above all do no harm recommended first aid methods reassure the victim who may be very anxious bitten limb with a splint or sling consider pressure immobilization for some elephant bites avoid any interference with the bite wound as this may introduce infection increase absorption of the venom and increase local bleeding pressure immobilization method an elasticated stretchy crepe bandage approximately 10 cm wide and at least 4.5 meter long should be used if that is not available any long strip of material can be used the bandage is bound firmly around the entire bitten limb starting distally around the fingers or toes and moving proximally to include a rigid splint a bandage is bound as tightly as far as a sprained ankle but not so tightly that the peripheral pulse radial posterior tibial dorsalis pedis is occluded or that a finger cannot easily be slipped between the layers management of snake bite transport to hospital rapid clinical assessment and resuscitation detailed clinical assessment and species diagnosis investigations laboratory tests anti venom treatment observation of the response to anti venom decision about the need for further doses of anti venom supportive ancillary treatment treatment of bitten part rehabilitation treatment of chronic complications